If you've signed up for things like Ashley Madison or Adult Friend Finder, you might not be making good decisions in your life because you've probably been hacked and as a result your personal information is all over the internet. Now, uh, last year Ashley Madison got hacked and this year Adult Friend Finder has gotten hacked. Now Adult Friend Finder is what you see when you're watching porn. It's usually like a window next to the porn on like YouPorn or whatever you watch. And I always just assume that it's a virus and you shouldn't click on it, but people do click on it and they do sign up for it. And apparently, um, if you have done so, you could be one of the 412 million accounts that uh, have been put out there on the internet. So let me give you the details on that. Adult dating service company FriendFinder Network has reportedly been hacked with over 412 million accounts, email addresses, and passwords from their websites made available on criminal marketplaces. Over 300 million adult FriendFinder accounts were affected, as well as over 60 million accounts from cams.com. Other company holdings such as Penthouse, Strip Show, and iCams were also breached for a total of 412 million affected users. Okay, so um, the crazy part about this is, let's say you had signed up for Adult Friend Finder, uh, and then you deleted your account. You're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. It's a bad idea. They, they kept your personal information, so um, you will be affected by this hack. Uh, look, I... I get so angry when these hacks happen because, like, get out of people's personal lives. Like, what are you trying to do? Um, wh wh like, what joy do you get out of outing people who are human, right? Like, okay, so they're on Adult Friend Finder, they're on Ashley Madison. I don't care. People shouldn't get involved in others' personal lives like this. So, well, I mean, I guess they could use this for blackmail. I guess that's maybe part of it. But also, how much information if you're if you're on Adult Friend Finder? If it were me, which it's not, mm -hmm. um, I would totally fake name, alias. Like I'm not putting all that. Hopefully, you know, real people did do and, that, and hopefully, people aren't putting their credit card informations on these sketchy of sites. Because I know they exactly. Are. I know. Of course I'm, they are. I know. Because if you're in, if you're in the mood, if you're already this close to friendfinder.com.net/org.gov, like you already know. You already are making that jump. You know what I mean? You're yeah. making that leap. I know exactly the sites that you're talking about that I assume are viruses. Yeah, yeah. The ones totally. that pop up on the side where it's like, hey, I really want to meet you. They don't want to meet you. Yeah. Like sexy <laughs> singles in your area. They're not in your area. They're in area, you know, they're in your, well, they are in your area because they're in your information. Now you're hacking, your wife finds out. But they sh they're not, they're not interested in you. And these sites are all sort of scams. But what makes me a little bit concerned is the 15 million deleted user accounts yeah. that the company kept. Yes. That is weird, Anna. What, so what's going on with that? So I don't know why they made that decision. My guess is a lot of companies do that. So once you sign up for something on the internet, just know that it's very likely that wherever you signed up, even if you delete your account, the they'll probably agreement. retain, yeah, they'll probably retain that. And that's another thing. People don't read user agreements, and I know that it's wordy, I know that sometimes it's a little difficult to understand, but please read it and please know what you're getting yourself into. You mentioned, you know, guys getting outed and their wives finding out. That's, that's one part of it, but another part of it that I think about, and it makes me feel so terrible, is, look, some people are lonely, and some people don't have partners, and some people want human interaction, and this is, you know, this is their way of getting that human interaction, and knowing that someone is exploiting that or a group of people are exploiting that makes me feel so terrible, right? Mm -hmm. So just be a decent human being and don't go after people like this. They're, they're innocent, they're minding their own business, they're living their lives. You don't know the dynamic of their relationships. You don't know whether or not they lack human interaction and human relationships. This is just insult to injury, and it, it really bothers me. Yeah, and I think I think you make a really good point of all the people that this is going to affect, and that also we we, we have to stop associating uh, shame with sexual behavior, with sexual behavior, and sexual preferences, and sexual fetishes, and whatever. As long as it's all you know, everyone's an adult, and you're there's consent. It, have fun, and you, I, I I shudder to think that you're right that there is some guy that his name is going to be out there, and that now he's going to feel ashamed because of something harmless that he was doing yeah. to find that sort of inner interaction and that sexual gratification. There's nothing wrong with that. And the shame that I think exists, particularly in the United States, is not fair. Um, it's not fair because then you get the real creeper. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Then, then you get the real creepers because there is this sexual shame and repression and then you b maybe become a serial killer and you should watch my show Murder with Friends where we talk about what happens when that does. You see how I did that? Anna? Awesome, plug. I did, awesome plug. Awesome plug. It was seamless though. It was seamless. <laughs>
You want the same old mainstream media stuff? Hell no! I hear you, brother. That's why we got a whole new show on the Young Turks called Aggressive Progressive. Members get the whole show. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com slash join.